If anybody understands Kazuya Mishima, it's me. Why? Because I too was thrown off a cliff by my own father. Kazuya and I share a bond that no other people have. So I was born to maim Kazuya. Kazuya Mishima is one of the main characters of the Tekken series, and was in every game except Tekken 3. In the first game, he was the protagonist, but from Tekken 2 on, he became one of the main antagonists of the series. His father, Hihachi Mishima, the wealthy leader of the Mishima clan, was very abusive to him. And when Kazuya was 5, Heihachi tossed Kazuya off the cliff to see if he was strong enough to lead the Mishima clan if he survived. Kazuya did survive, but hated his father so much. Later, seeking revenge as an adult, after winning the King of the Iron Fist tournament and defeating his father, he gets a sweet taste of revenge and yeets Heihachi off a cliff. Kazuya uses his clan's wealth to become even more ruthless and more evil than his father. Oh yeah, and he also has a devil gene inside him, where he literally has the devil inside him. And it tries to control him until he eventually controls the devil. It's pretty insane. There's so much that Kazuya does and causes that I don't have time to get to. I mean, he has a son named Jin, and his dad survived and threw Kazuya into lava, but then a corporation rebuilt Kazuya. It's so convoluted, but Tekken is dope, and it's my second favorite fighting game series, second to Smash Bros. So when I saw his hilarious announcement, I was hyped. But then I remembered, game over. I suck at Tekken, so this episode is gonna be a bit hard for me. Like other fighting game characters, Kazuya has moves that require inputs, and he has a lot of those. Which means we have a lot to go over. So now that you know who Kazuya is, let's learn how to play him, shall we? Kazuya is like Ryu, Ken, and Terry, where he automatically turns around, which can sometimes help you or hurt you. You just have to get used to it. Okay, so Kazuya has a lot of different jabs and tilts, so listen real quick. Your jab can either be a short jab, 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 or a long 10-8 combo that is very strong, but enemies can get out of it, although it still can be very confusing to fight against. You have no idea how many people fell off the map in confusion, but if you land the full 10 hits, it's mwah, beautiful. <laughs> really captures the essence of Tekken. Kazuya is a bit slow, but his dash attack does have a good amount of range. You have multiple tilt attacks from every angle, from forward, up, down, and all the angles in between. Here is a command input sheet if you want to, you know, pause your video and take a snapshot of this on your phone or use snipping tool to take a picture of it on your computer, or you can just Google it yourself. It's not that hard. His forward tilt is a Ganondorf leg. Do I have to explain? If you use the up angle, you can do the Heihachi iconic spitting demon move, which is so good for killing it's literally made my day that it's in this game and down tilt has a slight stunning effect making it good for combos up tilt can help start air combos as well and there are also a bunch of different moves that you can do just by being crouched it's crazy my little baby boy brain can't handle it this character is not for noobs why do you want to play him just use ike oh my god sorry he just has a lot and I can't fully explain it all. Like I said, just look at the guide. Okay, let's get back to more normal smash moves. Your forward, back, and down throw cause the camera to shift, with the down throw being the best for comboing, and your up throw is a laser that just shoots your enemy off the sky. At really high percentages, it can kill. Overall, most of his grabs are just good for keeping your opponent off the stage. Your neutral air is a classic Shoto move that, you guessed it, can spike. It's also great for starting combos by using it and then going into your 10 hit jab. Your up air is one of your best air moves because it has decent range and can also kill. Your forward and back air are just quick kick attacks, but your down air has you flying down with your leg and this move is pretty powerful. Unfortunately, this is one of those moves that keep you falling forever, but if you land it at the right time, it's a pretty great landing option. And as I mentioned earlier, Kazuya has a devil form and it comes out in all of his smash attacks. All of his smash attacks have armor on them 
meaning that your opponent's attacks won't do anything to him and they will successfully land regardless. His down smash causes a bit of a stunning effect and is insane at breaking shields. His up smash is great for catching enemies up in the air and can even hit enemies on the platform, making it doubly strong. And his forward smash is probably as strong as a falcon punch but comes out way quicker. Don't get me wrong, it's not that fast but when it lands, it is killer. Kazuya's neutral special attack is his demon laser. This laser doesn't come out that fast, but it does have a lot of range for a projectile. And you can use it in the air, on the ground, and angle it, making it insane for getting clean snipes on enemies. His forward special has him doing a long range punch attack that causes a stun effect, which if stunned, can combo into multiple attacks, especially his down smash, and is an okay option for mixing up your recovery. Speaking of recovery, Kazuya, like everybody else, has two jumps, right? His first jump is pretty weak, but his second jump is huge. And on top of that, his up special brings him up to insane heights. You can get back from very low spots on the map. Your devil wings are even better than dragons. Poor boy has wings and can barely get back on stage. What's that about? And this move can kill, and since it comes out very quickly, it's an insanely great option for going for kills when people are on top of you. And lastly, Kazuya's down special is like Ganondorf's command grab, if it was actually a good move. This command grab has you grabbing someone by the neck, slamming them into the ground, and can kill at pretty low percentages. You can even do the Bowser maneuver, where you take your enemy down with you, which I didn't know could happen, and I did it without even realizing it on stream. Oh! <laughs> Did that work? What? Okay, so you can <laughs> Ganondorf them to the floor. What? After Kazuya gets to very high percentages, not only does he have rage, but he also has an extra meter that comes up. This greatly powers up your down special, but also turns all of your grabs into this down special, allowing for you to go for kills at even lower percentages. That is all of Kazuya's moves. He has so many, it's absolutely insane. But luckily, since I've also been thrown off a cliff, you know that I'm the best Kazuya player in the world. So you gotta listen to my... Kazuya is one of the rare characters that can use moves after using his up special. So after you use your up special, if you're landing on the stage, you should already be ready to attack in case your enemy tries to come and edge guard you. But you can also change your momentum with other moves like your down special and your neutral special in the air. These both lift you up slightly while causing your opponent to maybe get a bit confused with how you're going to land. While you shouldn't use your laser against characters that have a reflector, you also have a reflector. So if you know someone is going to reflect your stuff back at you, just remember that you have the ability to reflect with your double dash attack. A lot of projectile heavy and campy characters may not expect it. A lot of Kazuya's moves will not land on small characters like Kirby or Pichu or a squished Pikachu. So in these scenarios, that's where a lot of your crouching moves will come in handy. So instead of using your default jab attack, which most of these characters can get out of pretty easily, you could instead use other moves that hit lower characters. Kazuya is one of the rare characters to have the ability to choose the angle at which he's going to attack, which is honestly a big plus. You can't taunt online unfortunately, but his side taunt does do damage, and successfully getting a kill with the side taunt is a pretty big flex. If you're playing with your homies offline and you successfully land it, you're officially cooler than every single person in that room. Congratulations. <laughs> Kazuya's addition to Smash Bros was honestly a big surprise, but I'm so glad that he's in the game. Now Smash Bros really does have representation from all the big main fighting games, with the exception of Mortal Kombat, but maybe we'll see Scorpion next? A part of me would have preferred a character like Yoshimitsu to join the cast because he is one of the few characters to be in two games, both Tekken and Soul Calibur, essentially granting us a character from two games. But I completely understand why they chose Kazuya. As the iconic protagonist turned antagonist and a very popular the character in the series, it was a no-brainer. But how was he for noobs? For noobs, he is going to be extremely hard. The first time I'm ever putting an adverb behind a word. I'm telling you, the amount of moves this character has makes the skill ceiling for him extremely high. So a lot of noobs will find this character extremely difficult to get any value out of.
But what do you think? Have you tried Kazuya? If so, do you think he's easy to play, hard to play? Let me know in the comments down below. And also, if you played Tekken before, which character would you have wanted in Tekken? Was it Kazuya or was it somebody else? Okay guys, so I'm gonna go take a shower because getting thrown off a cliff, as painful as it is, is also pretty dirty. So uh, I'll catch you later. Yeah, noob.